Hey guys, um, and welcome to another edition of the Auburn Football Podcast. My name is Molly Cho, and with me today, I got... Fola Tola. I thought you were going to say Ju. <laughs> hey guys, don't don't forget to follow us on social media. We are um, Auburn Football Show on Facebook and YouTube, and um, UFS underscore NG on Instagram and Twitter. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate that. Um, on today's show, Fola... We saw the uh, final on Sunday between England and Italy. Um, congrats to the... Great game, by the way. Oh, yeah, great game. Great Fantastic. Game. Yeah, congrats to the Azuris. Um, but I would like to... I mean, basically what we're going to be talking about, I'd like to highlight um, something. Um, we saw Harry Kane. Harry Kane took the first penalty. Um, Maguire took the second penalty. Mm. And um, the last three penalties... Um, for England, we saw Rashford, Sancho, and your boy, uh, Saka, take those penalties. Players that are apparently know English these days. <laughs> and um, sadly, what happened was that they lost their penalties, right? Mm-hmm. And since they lost, like, I mean, since that, after that game, um, those players have been under the, well, like what you say, under the ropes. Should have been on the ropes. Huh? <laughs> They've been on the ropes. In, in and a very terrible way. Yes, I mean, it's not. The, I mean, I think if if we're if you don't know what we're talking about right now, we're literally not talking about racism in football. Um, a lot of these guys have, you know, gotten some crazy messages on social media. I saw one on um, back again. That's troops um, uh, page, and it was just annoying, you know, because I don't even understand the concept behind. I mean, well humans you know but then i guess for these guys it's just that superiority thing that they want because uh, i don't understand the, the yeah, i don't even think it's a superiority thing anymore i think it's just hate and ignorance pure ignorance yeah. pure ignorance hate maybe stress but the major thing is ignorance yeah you know? yeah and you know over time we've seen that a lot of this racist um comments um you know we see a lot of them on social media and you know just like we were saying um before we started this um podcast we've seen the social media platforms um do better at a lot of other things right but social media is good no doubt yes it has a lot of oh absolutely i know a lot of people that that have some sort of um job you know bec- I mean, from, through, social from social media. media social media has made the world smaller you know there's a lot yeah. of reach yeah so i mean if i should ask you right what do you think um these social media platforms can do better because for me there's a lot that i i feel like they can do to sort of stop you know curtail this whole racism thing i mean what do you what do you what do you think so first of all, I think they need to stop playing the card of there is nothing they can do because I think that's false, mm. in my opinion. Mm. I think that's false. Yeah. Social media platforms, there's a lot they can do to, you know, fish out this so called racist. Yeah. It's easy. And the fact that they have a lot of people that want to be on because these days I know social media is like Yeah, you're missing out. Yeah, you're missing I out remember, on everything. I remember when, when Instagram had to take I'm sort of like take out the I think it's the like no not take it out entirely but sort of like the, you couldn't count how many likes you like had you because had I think a lot of who were using it for like validation and exactly. stuff you, to, you post something you want to check how many likes you have exactly. and things like that social media has serious power mm. so I mean, I mean it's not going to be Nigeria. long yeah. it's not going to be long before the narrative changed to social media platforms are aiding racism because they have to do something about it and fast. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot of suggestions online from different um, social media platforms, sorry, different YouTube and podcasts and all of that stuff that I listen to. Mm. People are recommending that you have to have some form of identification. I agree a thousand percent. You register on yeah. social media now. Yeah. That way, you have to be responsible for everything you tweet or post. Or, you know, talk about or like mm. or share. Do you get what I mean? Mm. That way you can be tracked. Yeah. That, okay, this 
is where you stand. Because the people that are uh, saying all these racist comments and everything, yeah. they can't say it on camera because then you get arrested. Yeah. And right? you realize that most of them have like um, private profiles and whatnot. Exactly. So the places where they are allowed to bring out this darkness in them <laughs> is on social media. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I agree with you. And I it's bad because, you know, it's affecting young people like, you know, Rashford, Saka, yeah, yeah. Sancho. I saw Saka even crying, you know. He was crying, but, you know, I felt the most for Rashford. This is a young man yeah. that has done so much in for England. For his community, yeah. So much in England. The least he needs is what he's getting, right? Is what he's getting on social media for missing a penalty or for not taking it. This is not just because of the Euros. You know, this is something that has been happening over time. It's just coming to the limelight now. So, you know, I think social media owners or the people that are responsible, there's a lot they need to start taking action and mm. trying to... So, going back to your point on, you know, having some sort of, sort of identity, um, I think that's valid. Um, I know, I mean, you and I are in advertising, and we know how it's kind of difficult when you have to sort of um when you restrict people you have to get them to do something that you i mean that would probably stress them you want to just you want them yeah, to just you want so it's like ui right yeah. ui ux yeah. you want the life for people to be easy yeah so you just get into put your it, name you know, your email address and just sign up with a password I without that. any I understand that. but i mean i i feel like it has gotten to a point where there are certain steps i mean there are some smart people there, right, in Silicon Valley and whatnot. But I, I feel like it has gotten to a point where you literally need to say, okay, you know what, you can sign up for this platform for like three months or a month. Use it for as long as you want. But then after a certain period, you need to actually, you know, upload. It's just like when you open bank accounts these days in Nigeria or like them digital banks. Of course, you, you need also to have a lot of... Yeah. yeah. You need to, yeah, you, know, you also need to, you need to put some sort of, um, what's it called, um identity to this thing because that's like the only way that you can really catch you know um um these people i mean just running through some incidents apart from the one that happened with um there are loads of players like there are loads of black players there was this guy um i think it was kamara or something yeah, during yeah, the yeah. champions league by another player that was and that was on the on the on the field of play. i think i think the referee even ref i think that stopped that match or something like that, and I at some point, I don't really recall the what happened events, in that. Yeah. I think it was Rangers versus some some club like that. Now again, someone like Terry Henry already had to close down his social media platforms, you know, because of the whole racism thing. It's crazy. I've seen you know we've seen videos of Daniel Alves when you know they were training monkey, I um, train bananas at him and chanting, you know, having like monkey chants and whatnot. I feel the way, like the way it has been tagged. Yeah. And I respect that. It's called a disgusting act of racism. Disgusting, disgraceful. So, so do you think the football associations, the English FA, the because at some point when these guys were kneeling down before every match, I, the knee I that. thought it was redundant to be honest. Because if you keep doing that without passing the, pro the proper message, then what are you doing? Like you're not taking action. Um, you still have people that come to the stands that are still, you can fish them out. There are cameras all over the place. You can fish them out, but you don't hear anything about it. You don't hear that anyone is banned or you don't, you know, you know, put them in the limelight to make it's people know that. It's almost as if the government is allowing it slide. Because that's, I mean, I mean, if you, if you, I know it's a very delicate um, um, subject, but I feel like if you put as much attention um, on it as you've put on other issues things like, like, like Pride super Month. even things like Pride Month right I know it's a very delicate um, subject but I see the whole month of June everywhere was you know there were rainbows everywhere and whatnot. I don't think uh, they're, they're, my brother yeah. the super was that thing called um, European Super League the Super League yeah. did you see did you see the amount of aggression mm. That the governing bodies of football came out with, and yeah, even the English government, <laughs> you know, it has to be stopped. Mm. They are spoiling football, blah 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 blah, because it had to do with pockets. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. 
But this has to do with people's livelihood. This, this has to do with people's day to day. This has to do with the memories that people remember. Saka is never going to forget what happened. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. He's never going to forget what happened. Yeah. Does it have to happen? No. It doesn't. You know, can the government do something about it? Yes. Can social media owners do something about yes. it? Yes. So what are we waiting for? What's the issue? I don't I see, like they accept they want it to be as it is, you know? Um I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to really comment on that, but I would say is it profitable? No, not profitable. Does it is it of any value to the footballing bodies or to, you know to these guys? Mm. If that keeps, you know, making the news, is it of any value to them because at this point, I would like to think that, um, you know, the whole attention that is, you know, because... The, the I mean, you are not saying that it's yeah. profitable to them. I'm not saying that, no. I'm just saying it's, it's a question. It's mm-hmm. a question that needs to be thrown out there, you know, and people need to know that. People need to, you know, think through it and, you know, think about this thing on a deeper level to say, is it, like, is it of any value to these guys? That's why they're not really fighting it or what exactly is the issue because i feel like it's one of those issues that you can easily you know make certain um you can make certain decisions that would help so my you know, take these is, players my take know. is you know this world generally is a very political playing field i mean you know how the government yes. pretty the, much the, the runs world everything. is a very political yeah. playing field so i'm sure that there are some tools they can step on while they are trying to sort something out okay. and that's the issue mm. but still you know mm. still we can't you know it, it can't be this bad after all these years i mean this has been around be. for the longest yes but it's like, like come on like not like this do you get what i mean yeah. not like this not now not in 2021 and you know that was that was one of the, that was one of the reasons why i used the word aid but then you corrected me by yeah. using the word yeah. and what did yeah. you even say I said they were um, as, as they as were allowing, allowing it. it. Yeah. So I feel like social media platforms, um, you know, they've not for me they've not done as much as they can. I feel like they can do more, but they've not done as much as they can in terms of um, you know, you know, curtailing like you know all these things that are happening. Um, Something I think media. they can do is do a campaign where. You know, a lot my of brother, people... They've and, done, they've done several campaigns. So this is something that's just coming to mind now. There's this guy I listen to on YouTube, Tom Canton, I think is his name. Is it the guy from... Talk. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I don't. Talk. So he was saying something about his... He had hope for humanity when he saw the amount of messages of people trying to counter the racism. Yeah. You yeah. know, a lot of people like if you go to all those three players that yeah. are comments now, you probably see love emojis and wait support I, and all of that. So people are literally commenting with shit on in like not even in DMs. No, li- even in their comment pictures. Section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Big time. So people are going back there wow. and saying, No, we love you, we support you, it's fine, you are going to be great, you know. Wow. So it shows you that humanity would make it yeah. you know there are good people yeah out there the one of the morale of uh rashford, rashford yeah i saw that you one know, uh, that was that was beautiful comments but people went there and beautiful. covered it up and that was beautiful that was beautiful great. yeah so what i think is since there are a lot of people the numbers of good people are out there mm-hmm. i think what needs to happen now is that social media platforms need to ask people that to show their support against racism okay right they need to show identification somewhere right mm. let it become a thing mm. of for me to show that i am not so i'll, I'll and put I'm that against yeah. This, yeah i need to you know show i need i want to put my i'll put my name identification. Out there. yes okay that this is me yeah yeah this is my account that, like that way I like that. the people that don't do it you know that you need in to one way or the other you know you need to question them about yeah. okay what's up man but then thinking about it again in the I don't even know how she called Nigeria. They are busy people country. and all no, that. Not even that. So, call, say Nigeria, for instance, or any other African country where you have a lot of people that are on social platforms because of there's this, you know, um, access to smartphones these days. There are, you know, loads of people that can afford, you know, smartphones. Um, and that you don't have a lot of people that are as learned as, you know, the, like you and I. 
um, people that probably don't have passports because they just think that I'll probably never ever travel, you know. And they don't have driver's licenses. Like, they, they don't even, they drive around for years without any sort of identification. I'm not sure something like a BVN or um, what's that thing called? So NIN or something would be allowed on, you know, that type of platform. For the foreign viewers, maybe yeah. like your no, social no, security. No, I, I mean, I'm saying, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for the foreign yeah, viewers, yeah, yeah, like social yeah. security numbers and, and things like that. So that's literally what like BVN and NIN um, is. So if we don't, if those type of things are not allowed, because I still know a lot of people that don't have BVN numbers. I still know a lot of people that probably didn't even do anything about when the you know government said we should do NIN. Yeah, no, no, no. We need to sort of I think the the government um, government of these footballing um, countries, the likes of England, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, they need to come together and you know do something deliberate about um, you know this racism thing. That's if they really care, because left to me, from what I see. The level of attention European Super League got versus the level of attention, like the the, the number, the the, the, type, the caliber of people that came out to support, I think about club owners, big businessmen that came to support, um, you know, the European Super League. But when it comes to things like racism, don't worry, yeah. some guy will take care of it. They allow it. They allow it. Yeah. You know. So I feel like if there's going to be any way forward, right, people. The, the people need to you see the you see the way Man U fans came out and you know Chelsea the fans protest, yeah, yeah the protest that is, Powerful. that that needs to happen that needs to happen they need to stop games in the middle of you know they need to stop the stream of money against racism right against racism because you need to because so far the protests the the protests have been about. Yeah, you need to improve our club. Yes. Oh, we need to sign better players. We don't, we don't want we these owners because this, well. yeah, these guys don't care about Maybe us. Maybe if people take those kind of stands against racism, yeah. it could help. It could be a you know, huge Some shout. To show how serious this really is yeah. to the world because that's the opposite side of the conversation. Yeah. Is everybody saying, oh, this should be stopped? This, but are people going all the way out to ensure that it is stopped? Yeah. I think that's where your point comes in of, you know, protest against racism in football. So, final thoughts. Um, I was going to say, I was gonna actually going to say way forward, but I think we already sort of, um, yeah, yeah, we said a know, couple of um, things touched on it. Yeah. So, um, guys, I mean, we know that this is real out there. Racism is real. Um, we're not in support of any sort of racism on the urban football platform. So please make sure um, in any way you can support the players, maybe in the comment section, you know, send them lovely messages, you know, wherever it is that is out there. You have, even outside of football, there are loved ones out there, friends and family that are in foreign countries. Just support them, show love and show support anytime they have like any, don't play it down, don't play down like any racism um, conversation. So please show your love, um, please show love and support you know, to um, our brothers and sisters out there. It's the urban speaking, football. Speaking, oh. speaking, sorry, okay. speaking of uh, lovely messages. Yeah. I need to do a quick shout out. Okay. To Tottenham. Oh, yeah. Classic yeah, gesture. Classy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic yeah. gesture. They, they posted Saka. They posted a photo and of Hurricane and yeah. Saka. Yeah, that was good. Saying we stand together. Yeah. Even though we, Even gesture. though we all know that there is this racism, um, not racism, yeah. sorry, the, the, rivalry the, yeah, the between rivalry in Arsenal. And this is bigger than that. Yeah. And I respect that they came yeah. out and did that. Yeah, that was really good. That Very really classy. Good. Yeah. Good shot. Thank you. Anyways, guys, it's the Urban Football Podcast. Um, don't forget to follow us on social media. We are Urban Football Show on Facebook and YouTube and UFS underscore NG on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you guys on the very next one. Thank you.